Little people, big dreams. Louis Pasteur. Written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vegara. Little Louis was born in France at a time when doctors didn't know much about why people got sick. Most of the time, they use odd and painful cures that didn't even work. But luckily for Louis, he grew up strong and healthy. From an early age, he showed a natural talent for drawing and painting beautiful portraits of his parents and friends. Yet, when he was a teen, he discovered his love for science and went on to study at some of the best colleges in his country. Louis was a teacher at the University of Strasbourg when he met Mary, his lifelong love. After they got married, they moved to Lille, where Monsieur Bigot, the father of one of his students, begged Louis to find out why his wine was spoiling. Other scientists had already discovered little organisms called microbes. They were so little that they could only be seen using a microscope. But they were everywhere, in the air, in water, even in Monsieur Bigot's wine. After Louis proved that microbes were damaging the wine, the emperor of France urged him to go back to his lab and find a way to get rid of these unwanted guests. It was not an easy task, but Louis was eager to try his best. Louis found out that microbes could be killed by heating up the wine. He called his process pasteurization, a method that is still used today to make things like milk, cheese, or juice last longer. The Academy of Sciences offered a prize to anyone he could prove where microbes came from. Louis won by showing that they didn't appear from nowhere, as many believed, but came from other living beings. It was a major step for science. By that time, three of his children had died from a disease called typhoid. Louis promised himself that he would put all of his efforts into preventing other kids from dying too. He thought that if microbes could spoil food, they could also cause diseases. He turned his lab into a farm for study animal diseases such as chicken cholera. One day, his assistant Charles injected weak microbes into their feathered patients by mistake. The chickens fell sick, but their disease was milder than usual. Louis decided to expose the chickens to the microbes again, but using a stronger dose. Luckily for the chickens, their bodies recognized the tiny invaders and fought back, winning the battle against the disease. That was the first vaccine created in a laboratory, and soon Louis was ready to try it on humans. When he vaccinated a little boy bitten by a rabbit dog, Louis didn't just save his life. He changed the course of medicine forever. Louis became the most renowned scientist in the world. From his institute, he opened the door for others to create new vaccines. These vaccines saved millions of lives and stopped the spread of many diseases that had terrified people for centuries. And science will forever be thankful to little Louis, the father of microbiology and the restless dreamer who solved one of life's biggest mysteries by exploring the tiniest living beings in nature. 
Louis Pasteur grew up in the town of Arbois in France. The family weren't wealthy, but they were determined to provide a good education for their son. Louis earned two degrees, including a Bachelor of Science degree at the Royal College of Besançon in 1842. He met his wife Mary when he became a professor of chemistry at the University of Strasbourg. They had five children together, but sadly only two survived childhood as the others fell ill to infectious diseases. After moving to Lille, Louis was asked to find out why bottles of wine were spoiling. He soon realized that tiny microbes were responsible for souring the wine. He invented a process in which bacteria could be removed by boiling and then cooling liquid. Today, this is known as pasteurization. Louis went on to make some vital discoveries as he researched a disease called chicken cholera. After chickens were accidentally exposed to a weakened form of the illness, Louis found that they became resistant to it. On July 6, 1885, Louis successfully vaccinated Joseph Maista, a young boy who had been bitten by a rabbit dog. The era of preventive medicine moved rapidly and Louis became one of the most famous scientists across the world. In 1888, he opened the Pasteur Institute in Paris. In 1888, he opened the Pasteur Institute in Paris, bringing together other scientists to search for even more breakthroughs to help mankind. Louis is remembered for his life-changing contributions to medicine. His research has been used by other scientists to develop vaccinations for human diseases such as tuberculosis and smallpox, saving millions of lives across the world. The End